time to organize! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about organizing. I will be organizing my kitchen and my bathroom. So if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. Subscribe, you're already here, might as well. I recently relocated from Boston, Massachusetts to Tampa, Florida, and I've been waiting on a lot of packages. Everything has been delayed, but that's okay. And I love organizing. I don't know about you guys, but organizing brings me so much peace, especially with a nice cup of coffee. I just feel like I can conquer the world when I organize. Although I received the majority of my packages, I'm still waiting on a couple things to be able to finalize the organizational process. So this video will actually be filmed across a number of days. So if you see me in a different outfit, it's because it's a different day. Let me show you guys what I got to organize the kitchen because we're going to start off with the kitchen. I got four of these really pretty glass cookie jars from Amazon and they're actually meant to hold cookies but I figured they could actually hold our cake cups for our Keurig so it works out perfectly. I got four of these and I just want to love because I didn't want anything plasticky for the kitchen and I really love bamboo. I love the look of it. It's sustainable so why not? And then once these are filled they will go right here on the bottom shelf and then I have some mugs up here i'm still waiting on a couple mugs to come in for this little side right here and then on top i'm not sure what to put because i feel like if i get more mugs that'll be overkill i'll probably put like hot cocos and hot cocos or like loose leaf tea i don't know no one can reach up there anyway so oh let me show you guys these cute little mugs i got from etsy and i'm obsessed with them they're so freaking cute i love the scallop look to them and then they came with a little saucer is that what this is called <laughs> I'll have them linked below if you guys want to check them out i got it from a little store that has a ton of other options and if you care i got these little ones from target if you saw like my shopping vlogs then you probably are familiar with those these are from crane and barrel i brought them from boston with me and i actually got these from amazon the other day they're they look like beer cans or soda cans and i thought they were really cute so i got four of them i made my coffee way too late but it's still really good So these are the cake cups that I have. I'm going to put all of them in here and see how it looks. I also got these bamboo trays from Amazon. I bought two of the same set and I really like them. They're super pretty and I bought them for my coffee station um, and they're going to go in here, which would be the coffee drawer. Why does the color look like this on the camera? But all of this will go in the trays. That way everything is organized and I don't have to put anything up here. There's something about you.
All right, so here is my little coffee slash tea drawer. I got these honey spoons from Crane and Barrel. They're so freaking cute. I got them for my husband. He likes to have honey with his tea. And then I just got some espresso or iced coffee spoons to stir coffee, <laughs> essentially. These are the Keurig filters. This is just some iced tea, some glass straws we got off Amazon, some tea, and then here are our Nespresso pods. So I love how everything turned out. Super cute and organized, and hopefully it'll stay this way. And then up here, I just have some leftover Nespresso pods. I need to stock up on these bad boys. So this is serving me as a reminder that I need to order some more. Oh my God, my nails are so gross right now. Don't mind them. I should have done my nails. And I'm using three of the cookie jars to store the K-cups and yeah, super organized. And then I don't know if I already told you guys, but these are real coffee beans, but I don't have a coffee grinder, so I'm using them for decoration purposes for now. And I got this jar from Target. And then I also got these bad boys and I ordered them from Amazon. I feel like I got a lot of the stuff from Amazon, a lot of the organizational bins. I was going to go to the container store because there's one not too far from where I live, but I was looking on their website and I didn't really like the options that they had. I'm sure that if you go in person, they have way more options. These are pretty, they're plain, but I think they're pretty. They are just your standard gray storage bins. And I got these to put in the little laundry room that we have to organize the detergents, any dirty like hand towels that we need to throw in here for laundry day. All right, so these are all set. I have all of our laundry supplies right in there. This one's empty. I'll probably add some more laundry supplies. And then these are just some fresh towels that we have. And then these two bins, like I mentioned earlier, will be for the dirty hand towels or the dirty dish towels. This one's empty, but this one has like the white dish towels in there. Super cute and simple but way better than having everything just out and about in a hot mess. And then these three drawers, I actually already organized. I'm going to quickly show you how I organized it. So since this drawer is right next to the stove, I wanted it to be the spice drawer and I need to buy little containers for the spices. I already have some of these, but I don't really like them and I think they're too big for this tray. So I want smaller containers. Once those containers come in, or once I order them, I should say, I'll transfer it out of these bottles. But I really like this bamboo tray. Again, I got it from Amazon. Amazon coming in clutch. And then over here, we have our utensil. Again, I got the little tray from Amazon. And then the utensils are from CB2. I wanted something different, so I went with black flatware. And then, yeah can opener, scissors, all that good stuff that no one really cares about. The cool thing about this tray is that it actually expands or you can make it smaller to fit your drawer. So for example, if I were to take these two things out, I could push it in if I had a smaller drawer and that way it would fit. So you can customize it however you want. You can even, you can even push this out more if you wanted to. So. It's a very little hand tray. Oh my god, this is so hard to do with one hand. And then this drawer is our dish towel drawer. So we have some microfiber towels that came with the bins I showed you for my coffee station. So that was really nice. And then I bought these two to dry our dishes. We don't have a dish rack and I didn't really want to get one. So my husband and I do dishes together every night and I'll wash them and hold dry them with these two. So very convenient. And yeah, those are the three little drawers right there. And then right on the island, I have two more drawers. This one's actually all set. This one just has the cutting board, the measuring cups and spoons, some pot holders or whatever they're called, some oven mitts, aluminum foil, and that's pretty much it for this drawer. And then this one is empty right now, but I bought a bunch of hand towels. The majority are from Home Goods, though. They have really affordable hand towels that I like, and if they get stained, then I'm not upset about them getting stained because they're super 
affordable and super cheap. And then I got these placemats from CB2. These were super affordable. I think they were like six bucks each of that. And I really like them. And then these came from Boston with me. They're from Pottery Barn. That's the point I'm trying to get to with every single issue and everything that you do, baby. the finished drawer got the towels handy the placements and the coasters it's perfect guys do you see this what are you doing silly why are you up there she got mad because I didn't pay her any attention <laughs> all right kitchen is clean and organized also, I got this candle from a local store here in Tampa and it smells delicious. Why am I shaking right now? It must be the iced coffee. It's coconut sugar sandalwood. And if I'm not wrong, I think it was hand poured in Florida. I love how this smells. It smells so freaking good. Oh, you came out. You came down? <laughs> All right, so these are the bins that I got off Amazon for the gas bathroom and the master bath. Nothing special to these, they're just plastic. I really wanted to try out the bamboo trays similar to what I have going on in the kitchen, but I figured that those would get dirty really fast and then they would get ruined so there's no points. The only annoying thing about this set is that you get a ton of little trays like this size and this little cube size, but you don't get a lot of the bigger size tray. Like for this one, it's only two. And this is actually two of the same order. So I ordered these trays twice. So realistically, when you order this set, you will only get one of each and two of these little long ones. So keep that in mind if you do decide to pick these up, but I'm going to use these to organize our bathroom drawers. They're looking like a hot mess and it annoys me every single time that I open them. This is just my makeup that I still haven't unpacked. And then I don't even wanna show you guys this mess of a drawer, it's all of my hair stuff. So I need to organize all of that. That's why I got these bad boys. Why has it gotta be so complicated? Maybe this love thing's overrated. My feet in the sand, my face in my hands. I know it's my fault because I never make plans. And now you're telling me you love me, but she don't even know me. I'm trying to hang, but if you follow me, you slow me. Yeah, because I've been thinking lately. If I take my time, try to get it right, I can see. All right, so I just finished organizing the master bathroom drawers and I want to quickly show you guys the final results. All right, so this is the first drawer and since it's the first drawer, I decided to keep all of our essentials like our deodorant, my glasses, my eye contacts, and the solution, the toothpaste, some earrings. I still need to buy a jewelry box, so I just like throwing my jewelry in here at night once I'm done wearing it. That way I don't lose it. And then over here, I just have Advil and my allergy medication. And then this is our second drawer or my second drawer. This is the skincare slash body essentials. It looks way better than before, doesn't it? And then this is my makeup drawer. I need to clean my makeup and my makeup brushes, so don't judge. I know it's on my to-do list, but this is how I organize it. Guys, I am down to only one eyeshadow palette, and I'm so proud because I had way too many in Boston, and I got rid of a ton. So it feels good to only have one. I need to cut down on my lip products, but that's a work in progress. And then this is the final drawer. This is the hair care drawer. And I'm not 100% loving this. I just didn't really know how else to organize it because my brushes, my straightener, my curly iron don't really fit in one of these bins. So I just 
left it out and organized it as best as I could. This might change, it might stay the same, I don't know. And then these are the bins that I have left over for the gas bathroom. I'm not sure if these will be enough, but we will find out shortly. This is our first kit drawer. I don't think I'm going to use any bins for these because there's no need, but we have a first kit bag. We have a second first kit bag. We're prepared, you guys. Some cough drops. This is honestly all my husband's doing. Compression bandage. He is ready for more. <laughs> so this is gonna stay the same because there's no need for me to take everything out of the bags. It's already organized. So that will stay the same. I'm just going to quickly organize these three drawers with these bins. Okay, so I ran out of pins, but you guys will see what I did. So this is just the first drawer. I'm keeping it pretty empty. I'm just keeping some extra toothpaste in here and then some empty bins. The second drawer is my husband's shaving drawer, his razors, whatever these things are called, a toothbrush to clean this thing, his shaving cream. Hopefully he keeps it like this. We shall see. And then this third drawer just has Q-tips, nothing special. And then the fourth drawer just remained the same as I told you guys. So nothing changed there. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you for organizing with me. Also, I logged on to my YouTube studio app and I saw that we passed 3,000 subscribers, which is so crazy to me. Thank you to everyone that has been subscribing, who has been liking my videos, watching my videos to the very end. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have no idea. I can't believe we hit 3,000 subscribers, you guys so exciting if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys